Hi YouTubers, this is part two of my MOT to do with the motorhome and uh, these are the old horns from it which stopped working which I managed to get them working again this one's uh, damaged and cracked and this one's splitting as well and uh, I bought some new horns for it and I think that cost me about six pound and uh, here are the new horns they come with these very very flimsy mounting brackets so I've got some what three mil aluminium I think it is and uh, I'm going to make a better mounting bracket rather than that rusty one and then I'm going to make the loom up for it and so I'm going to make a put a bracket across here and uh, I'm sure that's going to be better than the original one but uh, yeah they look about the same size and they're high and low tones and uh, so that's what I'm going to do sort the wiring out put it on here and uh, yeah let's see if I can make a bracket the rest of the bracket that fits uh, and a couple of small holes in the sill very small holes they've been filled with fiberglass um, they're well away from any structural so to weld them holes up it means stripping a lot of the van out taking the fridge out and things like that to get the insulation off the back so I'm going to do exactly what the other person did before me put a couple of bits of um, fiberglass in and uh, seal it up but I'm not going to show you that because it's, it's actually raining at the moment I, I don't mind getting this on but you can't really do any fiberglass work when it's wet. That's the wiring on now and uh, got a bracket here so hopefully that will fit. There we have the new horns installed. See down there with the brackets hopefully you can. I might swing this one around a bit more so that rain cuts in but I don't think it will there to be honest and for those who are interested that's where the mouse repellent device is um, wire to the battery a spare wheel one thing or another yeah so that's another job done as they say on the motor it has a plastic panel on here and this is a vent for the gas fridge but um, it's never worked properly and um, it was dangerous and I realised now why it's dangerous because the exhaust for the fumes here from the flame chamber was not connected so somebody had it apart and not connected it back properly and um, this also vents inside and it's made it very drafty and uh, so what I'm doing I'm blocking this off because we're gonna get a new fridge gonna get a compressor fridge and it won't need this bloody great hole in the side of the van look at it what a mess I'm gonna seal this up that's it side panels back on here that's blocked off now because there's no gas fridge so rain can't get in or any mice and uh, yeah it's much better now for anybody that's interested uh, regarding the big hole in the van which was a vent for the gas fridge um, to fill that big hole I used this plastic sheet it's, it's quite thick and it's very shiny one side this is used in wet rooms and shower cubicles and things like that it's very easy to cut very easy to mold with a heat gun and I got it from my father I got a few sheets of it I'm not sure what it's called but it's shiny that side and matte that side now for the main big hole to seal it up I used what's called Trade Bondit WP70 Black. It's a neutral cure silicon, 
high quality low mod for perimeter sealing of windows and frames rapid curing internal and external contains additional UPVC adhesive properties and it's a high gloss finish I bought this oh, a lot a while ago so I've been using that and for the small piece um, because it's on visible I cut a small piece of this up again and I use normal silicon white bathroom silicon round it and uh, that's it that's what I used so thanks for watching this video please subscribe and like